Hey guys, it's the Junior Coder. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Scratch on the Raspberry Pi 4. So this video will be useful if you don't already know Python, but if you do want to learn it, check out my full Python series that will be in the description. But Scratch is really useful because everything is drag and drop, so you don't need a code at all. So if you want to learn everything you need to know to get started with Scratch, link will be in the description. I made a full tutorial series on that. So now, let's get started. As always, the first thing we're going to do is go over the parts used in this tutorial. So first, you need a breadboard. Next, you need four female-to-male -male jumper wires, and also three male-to-male -male jumper wires, three 220 ohm resistors, and lastly, three LEDs. Now, the LEDs have to be different colored. I'm actually using red, yellow, and green because I'm going to be making like a traffic light program. So now that we're done going over the parts used, we can get started on how to build this project. So first, we're going to take a look at the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to be connecting ground first, third on the bottom, ground pin. Then red goes second on the top, that is the GPIO 2. Yellow goes third on the top, GPIO 3. And lastly, green goes fourth on the top gpio4 so it should look like that so now we can work on our breadboard the first thing we're going to do is connect the ground pin to the ground rail just like that Then we'll be connecting our LEDs. So first I'm going to connect to red. Now this does not matter, but I'm just going to be connecting it like that. So one leg goes on this side and one leg goes on this side. Next I'll do yellow. So one leg goes on this side and one leg goes on this side. Lastly, we'll be doing green. So just like that. Next, we need to connect the resistors. So 220 ohm resistors. The first one's going to go like this. The second one's going to go like this. And the third one's going to go like this. So now we, we have our ground rail connected so we can just connect male to male jumper wires into these resistors. So now let's do that. First we're going to get red one goes on the ground rail and one goes on the resistor just like that next we'll do yellow and lastly we'll do green Now we'll connect the GPIO pins. So red goes to the red side. Green goes to the green side. And yellow goes to the yellow side. So just like that. So now let's go on the Raspberry Pi desktop and we can control this using Scratch. So here we are in the Raspberry Pi desktop. We go to the top left corner, click on the application menu, and instead of going to Python IDE, we open Scratch 3. So give it a second to load. 
So this is Scratch the on the Raspberry Pi. In order to actually control an LED with a GPI open, we need to add an extension. To do that, bottom left corner, click on add extension, and go down. So here we have three extensions for the Raspberry Pi. So we actually need the Raspberry Pi simple electronic extension. So let's click on that. As you can see, as you can see, we have a new palette. And in that palette right now we have four blocks. So one button, GPIO number, is pressed or released. Then you will either turn LED GPIO pin on or off. So to make a traffic lights program, we need to go to events, grab the one green flag clicked and drop it here. Then go back to the Raspberry Pi palette and add turn LED number on. We'll change that number to two and we'll leave it on. Then we'll go to control and grab the weight block. We'll leave that on one second. Then we'll go back to the new palette, grab the turn LED on, and we'll change this to four. Then we'll grab another weight block. We'll go back, grab this, and we'll change this to three. Right after that, we'll add another weight block but this one is 0 0.5. So to make it more clear, first we turn on red, then we wait one second, then we turn on green, so LED4 is green, and then we also wait one second, and then we turn on yellow, and instead of one second, we wait 0 0.5 seconds. And then we'll go to control, and we'll grab a forever block, then we'll put all this code in that loop. So this will be repeated forever. So now when we click the green flag, so as you can see it works, but it does not turn off right after it's on. So after one loop, you can't see the difference. So let's click the red sign to stop our program. And then we'll go to the new palette and then we'll add three of these. Okay, and then we'll change these. So this should be three because here we're turning three on and then here we turn three off this should be two change this to off this should be four change it to off so now when we're on our program we should see a different result So it's working, but it doesn't really look like a traffic light. So let's turn these wait seconds up a bit. So we'll change this to 2, and we'll change this to 1. Actually, we'll do 3. And 1.5. Now when we run it, So this result looks more like a traffic light. So that will be it for this video. If you learned something, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will make more videos like this with the Raspberry Pi. So just stay tuned for those. And I'll see you next time. Bye.